formal safety briefing will commence at 5pm at the Queensland Maritime Museum. We acknowledge that this is the land of the Turrbal people, the original and current custodians of Brisbane Aboriginal land. We will also be entering Camilleroy country. We respect the Camilleroy people and we thank them for allowing us on their land. We acknowledge and respect the Aboriginal landowners and local residents. This is a unique part of the world and we will be passing through some beautiful and significant areas. So please travel with care. We want to keep our national parks beautiful, so please follow the leave no trace principles. We're moving through some of the most stunning and pristine parts of Queensland. Virgin rainforests up at Mount Nebo, Mount Glorious, eucalyptus woodlands and stunning gorges of Township Break. It is so important that we all follow the seven leave no trace principles. Plan ahead and prepare. Travel on durable surfaces. Dispose of waste at the checkpoints. Leave what you find. Minimise the impact of fire. Respect wildlife. Be considerate of your host and other visitors. Trail running is a dangerous sport and there is a risk of you being injured, lost, dehydrated or just plain exhausted. If you're sick, do not run. Running when you're sick can be extremely dangerous. Make yourself known to staff and support crew and we will withdraw you from the event. It is important for you to look after yourself, stay alert and to watch every step. We advise you to drink to thirst to avoid dehydration, take a good quality electrolyte like hammer Endurolite caps every 30 minutes to one hour, eat every 30 to 45 minutes to keep your glucose level steady, have the capacity to carry at least 1.5 litres of fluid between checkpoints, stay alert to avoid snakes, tripping over or twisting an ankle. If you have been bitten by a snake, you must stay still. Phone emergency triple zero or on the day medic hotline zero four two one zero zero three seven two zero. That number for medic hotline again zero four two one zero zero three seven two zero. Avoid moving the affected area at all. Apply your 10 centimetre snake bite bandage and don't move until help arrives. Lie flat and watch the leaves above you in a tree. Chill out. When crossing roads, you must give way to cars and other vehicles. Cars have right of way on the course and they're very large. Only cross the road if it is safe to do so. Remove your earphones when crossing roads for your own safety. It is good trail etiquette to remove earphones when running in a group on a single trail so you can hear if a runner would like to pass you and more importantly hear if a fellow runner has a problem behind you. Listen to all marshals on the course. They are volunteers and are giving up their precious time so that you can compete in the Brisbane Trail Ultra. Be kind and respectful to all marshals and volunteers. We love them. Tell them you love them as you run past. Any runner found disobeying a marshal on the road sections of the course will be immediately disqualified. We will have police at three points on the road for your safety on La Trobe and Given Terrace during peak periods. It is crucial that you listen to the instructions of the police officers. Stay alert and ensure you follow the course markings. There will be a course marker at least every 500 metres and three ribbons leading you through every intersection. On some more forested single trails, markings have been placed much closer together. Pink ribbon with a reflector marker in the day and pink ribbons, reflector ribbons and a reflector marker at night. The markers will be individually numbered with the track name and the number, example Township Break 1. If you're injured or sick and need to stop and are able to find a marker and phone for help, that marker will give our support staff your exact location on the course, read out the track name and the number and we will know where to send help for you. Let the next runner who passes you know the track name and number two and that way the CP staff or RF S support on the ground will know where you are on the course. Black Cockatoo Single Trail on the 60 km course has been marked at most 100 metres apart as it can be a bit technical in some areas. If you're injured here, 
There is little phone reception. Let a passing runner know your location or have the runner find the nearest marker and forward the message on to the CP staff. Our sweepers will be following closely behind the last runner with first aid supplies. Rural fire services will be stationed at the bottom of Black Cockatoo Trail and will be able to aid in your rescue. Follow the arrows in the direction it is pointing on the course at intersections. The symbol X marks the wrong way. Do not go this way. If you haven't seen a course marker for 500 metres, please stop, think and retrace your steps and go back to your last marker and check your position on your map. There are many offshoot trails along the course. We have marked the course so that there is either an arrow, continue the way of the arrow, or three ribbons leading you through an intersection. Only follow these course markings. If you're really lost, stop, stay where you are, conserve your energy, and please call David, Cora, or Shona for directions. Our contact numbers are on your race bib, and we will be able to help you. 100 mile and 110 kilometer runners must be weighed in at the start line prior to racing. Please check in with event staff at the start line. Your weight will be logged on your race bib and start line logs. You will again be weighed at CP2, 45 kilometers into your run. If you lose more than 3% body weight, or more importantly gain weight, then we will ask you to see the first aid tent for further assessment. If you've lost more than 2% and you can explain why, mm, a big race poo, then you'll be cleared to run on. But if you've lost more than 2% body weight and you're showing signs of dehydration or generally looking unwell, then we will ask you to stay at the tent until you've recovered or you may be pulled from the course. If you gain weight, this is also a sign of danger as your body is no longer regulating your salts and electrolytes properly. This can be fatal, especially if you continue to drink plain water. We provide electrolytes at the aid station. Please use them. It's for your own safety. Watch your step. Every step. There are many rocks, tree roots, cliffs in the area that we're passing through. Care must be taken to avoid injury. If you run past and someone is injured but is able to walk to the next checkpoint and is happy to go on by themselves, please let the timekeepers and the marshals know at the checkpoint that someone is injured. Please note their location by looking on your watch or note the track name and number on the next closest marker. This information will aid with their ETA time at the next CP. Please note their name and race number too so that we can monitor their progress between that checkpoint. If you come across a runner who is injured, please call in to the emergency numbers on your bib with the details of a fellow runner's or your own injury so that we can help respond as soon as possible. If someone is injured or sick and cannot walk to the closest checkpoint and you are the first person on the scene, please stay with them until help arrives. Phone for help and give the location of the nearest marker, track name and number marker and this will make it easier for support staff to find you both. If you're out of reception, please tell the next passing runner both of your bib numbers and give details of the injury or sickness to them. It is important that you stay with that injured sick runner until help arrives. Put on your mandatory gear and stay warm. We will thank you for looking after another injured runner. The time that you lost to care for your fellow competitor will be deducted from your overall time. In the event of an unpredictable natural disaster, while the event is in progress, the National Park may be closed at any time for extreme weather events such as bushfires, storms, high winds or flash flooding. In the unlikely event of this occurring, the evacuation point is at the closest checkpoint. Please listen to event staff and follow directions to the closest CP for your evacuation. Use the provided port or approved toilets at the checkpoints. If you're too far away from a checkpoint, please move at least 15 metres off the track and away from water to relieve yourself. Bury all faeces 20 centimetres below ground height. Please. Please be aware that this is a public space and there will be other people using the course on race day. 
please be kind and courteous to the other patrons on the course. Please be mindful that mountain bikes are also on the course. Runners must give way to mountain bikes. This is the same for horses. Horses will usually be seen on the fire trails, so please give way for the horses and riders to pass safely. Don't get on a horse. That's cheating. Don't ride a bike. That's also cheating. And although it's illegal for trail mountain bikes to be in the National Park, they have been seen riding on the trails. Please take care if you hear them for your own safety. Let others around know what you've heard and notify David and the next checkpoint of your sightings. Look after each other. Be kind to your fellow runner. Remember, even though this is a race, trail running and ultra trail running can be a dangerous sport and we all need to be aware of our fellow trail runners to ensure each other's safety. Be careful and only pass when it's safe to pass. The best way to let someone know that you'd like to pass is to say, hello, how are you? Or, hello, how are you? Have a chat. Let them know you'd like to pass. Passing on the right when it's next safe for both of us. Then just pass. When approaching the summit at Mount Kutha, you must walk when you're in five metres of a tourist. Please ensure that they know you're behind them by saying something like, hello, I'm behind you. Hello, how gorgeous is Brisbane? Hey, hi, I've just run 140 kilometres. And let them know that you're going to pass on their right when it's safe. They're going to be blown away by how awesome you are. Only when you've passed this tourist may you run again. Look, please follow the rules as this is a special area of the trails. And we're lucky to have the opportunity to witness this stunning view of Brisbane City and your finish line about 19 kilometres away. Hellhole break, township break, Westridge break and black soil break are all incredibly steep descents with a slippery creek crossing at the bottom. So please be careful as access to these spots are limited by vehicles. If you're injured here, there may be a delayed response time before help arrives. Please be careful and stay safe in these areas. It is more important that we all look after each other and stay safe than go for times. We're putting out ropes on Township Break to help your descent. Be careful, the ground is quite loose and you'll probably slip over if you're not used to this type of terrain. In the event of a medical emergency, please call the BTU on the day medic hotline on 0421-00720. Enter this number into your phone now. That number again on the day medic hotline 04210037207 Keep your phones out. I'm going to give you some more numbers. I'll read these numbers to you twice so you can make sure you've got them correctly. So, for all other non-life-threatening inquiries, race director numbers are printed on the back of your race bib number. Shona 0417 Six nine three two eight one. Enter that number in your phone now. I'll repeat it. Shona zero four one seven six nine three two eight one. The next number is David zero four double zero seven three one one six eight. Enter David's number in your phone now. I'll repeat it. Zero four zero zero seven three one one six eight. And finally, Cora. Enter Cora's number in your phone now, 0413-120-931. Cora's number again, 0413-120-931. We have rural fire service stationed on Hellhole Break, Westridge and England Creek intersection, Boot Break and Burtyard Break intersection, Township Break, Gold Creek Boundary Road and Creek Road intersection, Black Cockatoo, Lay's Break and Gold Creek Walk Trail Junction. These are advanced first aid providers. We also have 1300 medics roaming the park in case of an emergency and All American Wheeling will be our vehicular support, aiding in helping injured runners and help sweeping the course. Our sweeper group will have a qualified first aid sweeper to help out too. It is really important that we only use the medical staff for medical emergencies. 
We will have a sweeper vehicle for you if you have had enough. Please leave the medical hotline for medical emergencies. Please leave no trace. Pick up all the rubbish that you drop. It is poor trail running etiquette to drop rubbish. It's actually a poor life etiquette to drop rubbish. Carry all rubbish that you have in a lockable bag and dispose of it in the rubbish bins at each checkpoint. Rubbish is disgusting. Avoid single-use plastics, all together in your life is great, and make, sh- make use of the hammer jugs provided at the checkpoints and your water bottles for Red Bull Energy, Red Bull Organics Cola and ginger ale cans. Mm-mm. Everyone is to wear their high visibility vest when running, walking on the footpaths from Baden to the city and crossing the roads in the residential area. At dusk, everyone must wear a head torch and a high visibility vest. For competitors leaving JC Slaughter Falls CP7 at sunset around 5pm, you must wear a head torch and high visibility vest. For runners leaving other checkpoints after 3pm, all competitors, including pacers, must carry with them a head torch and a backup torch and batteries and high visibility vest ready to wear at sunset. Random spot checks will be conducted over the course for the entrance. Time penalty of two hours will be given to a runner found not carrying the full mandatory gear list. See the detail mandatory gear list for each event. There are a few loops or out and backs on the BTU course. Note all loops are anti-clockwise in direction. Orienteering punches, clippers, will be present on the 110 kilometer and 100 mile course. These individually patterned hole punches will be placed in a visible location and well signed. Punch a hole in your bib to prove you have gone through these locations. Failure to travel through these sections of the course will incur a two hour time penalty. These spots include the Egernia circuit at the 39 kilometer mark of the 100 10 kilometer and 100 mile course and double tailor sandpipe brake turn around the loop at the 50 kilometer mark of the 110 kilometer course. On the Coolgan circuit, 10 kilometers from the finishing line of all event courses, a marshal will be present at peak times on course to ensure that all runners have fully completed the distance. After peak times, Coolgan circuit after 9 p.m., runners will be required to mark their bibs with orienteering clippers punch as per the remote sites to signify completion of this loop. Poles may be required by some competitors to aid with descending and ascending some of the steep sections, especially into township brake, boot brake and side brake. We advise you to pick them up at Mount Nebo State School, CP2, before the Westridge break descent. At Maelia Picnic Area, CP3, for use on boot, burnt yard and side break, or Dundas Bush Camp, CP4, to get through township break. We are co-hosting a King of the Mountain style Red Bull climb from CP7. It's 1700 metres in length and about 150 metres in elevation gain. It crosses over the J.C. Slaughter Falls access road and finishes at the junction of the Pinnacles and Powerful Owl Track. Please be careful when crossing the road at the car park. As always, caution when crossing any road crossing. As this race starts at CP7 and crosses a road, you will not be allowed to park on the far side of J.C. Slaughter Falls car park. For the safety of all runners, please park at the adjacent picnic grounds. Hoop Pine and Silky Oak for access to JC Slaughter Falls. This is our busiest checkpoint, as well as a busy tourist spot, so please be careful when driving. If you're on the course after 8pm, you are required to have a pacer with you after checkpoint 7, JC Slaughter Falls. Your pacer must be carrying a minimum of 30 kilometres course mandatory gear. Pacers must check in with checkpoint staff prior to entering the course. Please note, pacers cannot pick up their race packs at the checkpoints as these must be picked up at registration on Friday the 5th of July. 100 mile runners who would like a pacer may have a pacer from checkpoint 4 Dundas Bush Camp. 
Pacers must carry the same mandatory gear as the requirement of the section of the course. 100 mile and 110 kilometer course paces must carry 110 kilometer or 100 mile mandatory gear. JC Slaughter Falls paces can carry 30 kilometer course mandatory gear. Pacers are not allowed to carry anything for the runner. Any pacer found mewling for the runner will result in the runner receiving a two hour time penalty. When entering the urban section, please be extra careful as you will be crossing roads. Stay on the footpaths. Give way to traffic and stop at all traffic lights and await a green pedestrian light to cross the road where applicable. The Milton markets will start on Sunday morning, so there may be a bit of extra activity just after Suncorp Stadium. You'll be also entering a well-used bike path on the Brisbane River at Coronation Drive Tunnel and the stairs up to the Go-Between Bridge. Please be extra careful at these intersections as they are blind spots and a bike might be moving swiftly through this area, especially on Sunday morning at 6am. Paces are your fresh eyes for these sections. There may be a few electric scooters out on the Clem Jones Promenade and city sections, so be aware that these riders may not be expecting runners and may not have much experience with these vehicles. So please make them aware of your presence and try to avoid getting too close where possible. Seriously, some people are idiots on these things. Queensland Maritime Museum, QMM. Please be aware that we're sharing the QMM grounds with paid guests. The entry into the QMM and HMAS Diamatina ship can be entered at a fee from the QMM reception. The heritage listed dry dock surrounding the HMAS Diamatina is fenced for your safety. However, this is an area that we need to ensure caution of falling. Please look after the safety of your children. Climbing on fencing and barriers is prohibited and swimming is also not advised in the Brisbane River. Bull sharks are very inquisitive and are abundant in our Brisbane River system. Snap, snap. Uh, congratulations! You have just crossed the line in your inaugural Brisbane Trail Ultra Festival. Please come into the recovery area. Hydrate first with either a Hammer Fizz or Endurolites. Have some glucose from Heed, Red Bull Organics Cola or Ginger Ale. And we will also have some food ready for you too. If you're not well, make yourself known to our first aid staff and we'll look after you. Our food trucks will be serving until 10pm and again at breakfast on Sunday the 7th of July. Please make sure you eat a solid meal before you have a drink from the bar. Speaking from experience, it will be the fastest way to pass out if you have a drink before you have a proper meal. <laughs> joking, joking. Seriously, Shona, that's, that's not the rest. Of, that's not, that's not. It might take you three hours or more before you want to have a drink after you finish your event. We're opening the bar again on Sunday morning between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of time to celebrate your awesome achievement the next day at the BTU presentations. Be respectful of all residents on course. Noise restrictions are as per usual. Minimum noise from 10pm Saturday evening until 9am Sunday morning. This applies to South Bank and all other residential areas along the course. Stay safe. Enjoy the beautiful rainforests, single trails and the views. Look after each other and you will have an amazing adventure. Good luck from the Brisbane Trail Ultra Team.